And what a beautiful day to be on the water. It's the annual Ships to Shore Festival happening today and tomorrow. You want to come down, there's lots of education and fun to be had. I am aboard the Schooner Adventurous. We're going to be learning about this fine vessel coming up. Woo! I didn't actually wear the loafers just for uh, when I'm when I'm uh, kayaking with the Olympians. Thanks, you guys. We're at Ships to Shore. It's the annual event here in Steve's, and I'm with Captain Joshua. Well, welcome thanks for aboard. joining us. Thank yeah, you. Welcome aboard. And this is the uh, Schooner Adventurous. You're the captain of this fine vessel. Give us a little history lesson. How old is this yeah. uh, ship, first of all? It's an honor and privilege. The ship is 101 years old wow. this year. Built and launched in 1913. Booth Bay Harbor, Maine. And there was a fire on board the ship that was basically catastrophic just a year after it was built, Just right? a year after it was built in San Francisco, as a, it was working as a bar pilot ship in San Francisco. And tell us about some of the uh, educational aspects of the Ships to Shore Festival and uh, what's going to be happening when people come down here, because you're going to be getting a lot of crowds, uh, a lot of children and families, uh, and what, what's some of the work that you guys do here? Yeah, well, we're looking forward to showcase what we do here on board the ship. Um, we provide formal environmental and sustainability education programs on board right and so when folks come down today to get a chance to showcase this national historic landmark this incredible vessel and then just a little bit about what we do in terms of educating inspiring empowering folks to make a difference for our marine environment and what are some of the main features that make the adventurous unique in terms of other vessels um, of its day well certainly your age she's now entirely restored yeah the hull's been restored in the last five years so we have a working national historic landmark that sails 200 days a year certainly yeah. unique in and of itself and and the vessel I mean she's a fine sailing vessel 111 feet tall about over 5,000 square feet of sail area and all participants that all get involved in sailing the ship they work the lines they uh, work down below keep mm -hmm. her keep the stewardship of the ship going wonderful and we will be learning about the bell there's a very cool story about the bell Nelson if you can get a shot of it here we'll learn about that later Riaz we're on board the uh, adventurous it's a fine schooner a fine vessel and we're celebrating ships to shore happening today and tomorrow here in Steveston and it will be busy for Canada Day tomorrow you can best be sure eat a vast me hearties I'm aboard the beautiful schooner adventurous here for ship to shore ships to shore I should say in Steveson happening today and tomorrow coming up we're going to be learning a little more about this vessel and a great story about the bell that is featured on this ship stick around for all that and more and it's the beautiful Ships to Shore Festival here happening today and tomorrow Canada Day tomorrow expecting big crowds Joshua you are the captain of this fine vessel the schooner adventurous yes give us uh, an idea of some of the uh, dimensions uh, of the sheer size of this mm -hmm. uh, ship right now yeah adventurous is 133 feet length mm -hmm. overall from that's, the bow sprit that seems very long like that's a, that's a big ship right yeah she's a good side vessel compared good to your vessel. typical sailboat yeah absolutely absolutely weighs uh, just under 100 tons wow it's 111 feet high uh, draws 12 feet under the water with a 20 foot, 21 foot beam out the width of the ship. Okay, and uh, how many people would it sleep? I mean, you have a whole crew assembled here on yeah. the ship, right? So we have 37 bunks on board. We sail with a crew typical of about 15 crew members on board. Right. There's about 25 folks sleeping below us right now, getting ready to wake up for breakfast. They're not sleeping anymore. No. Uh, all right, tell us about the bell, because this is very cool, and it goes back um, almost 100 years. Yeah, incredible story. So or actually, it does go back 100 it years, does. doesn't it? The ship caught fire in 1914. Okay. Uh, shortly after launch. Uh, Just in, a year in, after it was built. In San Francisco, yeah. And the bell was lost. And uh, in the 30s, a uh, young 10-year-old boy was given this bell uh, by a local police boat captain. Right. Uh, apparently, great story to kind of keep him quiet with his relationship with his grandmother. Bit of a bribe. Bit of a bribe. Yeah. Bit of a bribe. So, so the story goes. <laughs> and... Um, uh, so the boy held on to it for 77 years wow. and just a few weeks ago he called us he had his adult sons said you know so who is this adventurous 1913 yeah. googled it and of course you know right at the top of the list our ship our organization he calls us up and says uh, I think I have your bell unbelievable So we went down and picked it up had a great story with yeah. him visited with him for a while and uh, just yesterday uh, when we came in uh, your local councilman, Harold Steves, actually came and uh, yeah. handed the bell back on board the ship. This is the first time this bell has been back on board in now 100 years. Amazing! Yeah. Back in its rightful place back and uh, the, on board. the bell is home. And you know what, Michelle? I'm going to ring the breakfast bell. That's okay, that won't hold that against you. Coming up, we're at the Ships to Shore Festival in Steveston, and we're inside. We're going to be learning about the restoring effort that's going on with the Fleetwood. Stick around. What does that mean? I really remind you of money. 
Okay, here, we're at the Britannia Shipyards in Steveson, Ted Townsend with the City of Richmond. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Now, this is very cool because we're looking at the Fleetwood. This is a restoration project, but this boat was designed for illegal purposes, right? Yes, it's commonly known as the Rum Runner, and it was built specifically in 1930 to, rum, to run rum into the U.S. during Prohibition. Wow. And it was the fastest ship on the West Coast at that time. It could do over 40 nautical miles an hour. Amazing. I'm a Boardwalk Empire fan on HBO, and uh, they have a lot of ships carrying the Canadian Club whiskey. Could very well have been the Fleetwood. Uh, exactly. That's, of course, on the East Coast, but you get the idea. Um, so tell us about uh, what is involved with this restoration. It's volunteer-based, correct? Yes. Yeah, so uh, members of the Britannia Heritage Shipyard Society are slowly working on restoring this uh, vessel, and eventually we hope to get it back in the water and people will be able to go on board and, and, and see what it was like. Incredible, the rum runner. Okay, tell us what's happening down here in Steveston for tomorrow because Canada Day, you're expecting thousands of people, right? Right, so we got two great festivals, the Steveston Salmon Festival, commonly known as Canada's biggest little birthday party. Right. We'll get 80 to 100,000 people here with a parade and salmon bake, lots of other great events. Yeah. And uh, we've also, of course, got Ships to Shore Festival with free boarding of 15 classic vessels, tall ships, some Navy ships, uh, working vessels. Uh, so it's a great time to be in Steveston Village. It's going to be sunny oh, and yeah. it's all free. They're calling for a scorcher and you can come down today for Ships to Shore and tomorrow, but that's it. It leaves on the second, right? That's right. Today, today and tomorrow are the final days for Ships to Shore, but we cap it off with fireworks at 1015 on Tuesday night on the waterfront, so it's going to be great. Nice. There you go. Thanks, Ted. Michelle, it's going to be a wonderful day down here. I might have to bring the old Rum Runner back to the station. <laughs> We're here at Ships to Shore. It's the annual uh, festival happening in Steveston today and tomorrow, and there'll be big crowds for Canada Day. Coming up, we're going to be learning about the HMCS Oriole. This is the oldest naval vessel in Canada. We're going to learn all about that and talk to the ship's captain coming up. Ships to Shore Festival happening today and tomorrow. Uh, Lieutenant Commander Jeff Cable, you're the captain of this mighty vessel, the HMCS Oriole, right? Yeah, it's Jeff. Thanks for coming down. Oh, thank you. Thanks yeah. for making it so uh, pleasant yeah, and, uh, yeah. and, and informal. Yeah, this now, is great. This is the oldest serving vessel in the Canadian Navy, correct? Yes, at 93 years old. She's the oldest ship in the Navy, and she's been commissioned in the Navy for uh, 62 years. And the ship is still active. It's not just a showboat. It's not a showboat. We race it. We come to boat shows. Yeah. We uh, sail it. We've sailed it to San Francisco, and she sailed all over the Pacific. So you, it's a real working boat. And uh, there is also a brand new naval ship uh, right across the way. This is the Zodiac here? No, this is the uh, Navy uh, training ships. The, okay. uh, we have the Orca and the Moose, and they're patrol boats and they uh, teach junior officers navigation and seamanship. And so uh, you have a, the old ship back here yeah. and, and then, then the new training ships uh, uh, right behind us. It's amazing. So. One of the things you mentioned too, uh, looking at that ship, is how high it is above the gr of the water. And this older ship uh, just basically hugs the uh, the waterline. We're very low to the water. Uh, yeah. This boat was built for racing, and so uh, uh, she's a uh, an open ocean racing sailboat. Very different design than the, the Navy patrol craft. And what are some of the features here that we're looking at in the middle? Like these, uh, are those uh, sort of like submersible or like life rafts in so a sense? Those there? are life rafts. So yeah. we're we're kitted out for uh, traveling any anywhere and any kind of weather we can throw at the ship. So we have all the modern safety equipment on yeah. board, but we still sail the ship the old-fashioned way, uh, hoist sails by hand. Uh, we don't have any winches to sheet the sails in. It's done right. by uh, 10, uh, 10 or 12 uh, beefy young uh, uh, sailors. Yeah. And uh, so the uh, life on here is a lot tougher than on, on the uh, the newer ships. And she uh, may be old, us. but the vessel still got a lot of uh, pep in her, right? She is a good racing vessel, as yeah. long as the winds are strong. Yeah. Uh, and a stiff breeze, then she's a very, very fast and capable boat. Uh, in the light airs, uh, she has, has her challenges keeping up with the more modern and race boats. Oh, but, great. Uh, Thank you so much, Jeff. Amazing. You guys are here today and tomorrow. It's the Ships to Shore Festival happening in Steveston annually. Get down here, check out the website for more, and it's going to be a beautiful scorcher today and tomorrow. Riaz, come check it out. Bring the whole family.